Uh, would the court reporter please administer the oath? Sir, would you raise your right hand? Do you swear that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Thank you. <coughs> now, can you please state your full name for the record? My name is John Tristan Davis. Okay, and what is your current address? Uh, business address. Business address is GlaxoSmithKline, New Frontier Science Park, 3rd Avenue, Harlow, in the United Kingdom. Okay. What is your uh, current position at GlaxoSmithKline? Uh, my job title, I'm a yes. Director of Biostatistics and Programming. Okay. And what are your job responsibilities? Uh, I supervise a team of statisticians and programmers uh, in carrying out statistical work for uh, clinical trial programs. Okay. And in holding that position, you've done multiple analyses of the <coughs> Paxil data looking at the issue of suicidality associated with the drug, correct? I, I'll, or, or I've supervised the, the analysis of that work, yes. Okay. Let me show you a document which will mark. Okay, why don't you take a look at the document, sir? What I want you to do is look at what was submitted to the FDA regarding the internal analyses that GSK did of the Paxil data on suicidality in adults. Okay. Do you get a chance to re review that, sir? Yes, I have. I'm ready to all, but I've familiarized myself with it. Okay. And does it help refresh your, refresh your recollection <coughs> as to the two different data sets that were analyzed by GSK with regard to uh, Paxil <coughs> and adult suicidality? So let me just take another look at that. I think if you look at the first page, it says under the first paragraph, Second sentence, reference is also made to our submission on March 8, 2006, which provided results from the first portion of a comprehensive meta-analysis to evaluate the risk of suicidality in placebo-controlled paroxetine trials in adults with major depressive disorder, MDD. Yes I, yes, I see that. In this submission, we are yes, providing non, updated results. You see that? The non-major depressive disorder trials, yes. Okay. And this is a, so the record's clear, this is a letter from GSK to the FDA dated April 5th, 2006, correct? Uh, this is a letter, of, yes, April the 5th, 2006. Okay. And so GSK analyzed two different data sets with regard to adult suicidality uh, in association with Paxil, correct? At around that time, yes. Okay. And just so the record's clear, I'm going to be referring to them as the MDD data set and the non-MD data set, because that's what's used in this document. Is that, you understand that? The non-MDD data set was the, the later one submitted. That's okay. how you, yes, okay. okay. So you understand <coughs> we're on the same page here? Yes, okay. Okay. Now, um, going back to exhibit one, you'll see that if you turn to page six of the briefing document, which is attached to Exhibit 1, it has a section called Clinical Summary. Do you see that? Page six. Yes. Page section three, Clinical Summary. Yes, I see that. Okay. And then under the second bullet point, it talks about the results of the analyses for uh, suicide attempts in adults with MDD treated with paroxetine, correct? Uh, the second bullet. Yes. Talks about um, talks about suicide attempts in adults with MDD. Yes. Treated with paroxetine. Treated with paroxetine compared to placebo. Okay, and there is a uh, statistical analysis there, correct? Uh, there's a summary of some statistical analysis. Yes. Okay, and was that performed by your department? Uh, this is the GSK analysis. So yes, I believe it would be. Okay. And it has a odds ratio, correct? There's an odds ratio presented, yes. And what is that odds ratio? 
The oldest ratio that's presented here is 6.7. Okay. And there is also a, um, what is known as a p-value, correct? That's correct. Okay. And that is to determine whether or not the, uh, helps determine whether or not the uh, finding is a chance finding, a random finding versus uh, a non-random finding? Uh, the p-value is um, an attempt to measure what, um, with what probability a result such as this might have been observed just by, by chance, yes. As okay. opposed, yes, that's right. And this has a p-value of uh, 0 0.058, correct? 0 0.058, that's correct. Okay. And in this instance, that is a statistically significant finding, correct? Um, the... My, my recollection of the... Um, in a, in a, just looking at the p-value, people m would probably suggest it's not statistically significant at a classically 5% level. Um, so, so not on the basis of the p-value. Okay. Um, but why, why was it statistically significant? The, my recollection of this analysis was that the, um, there was reference made to statistical significance based on the 95% uh, confidence interval, which is um, sometimes a, a, it can be an alternative way of looking at statistical significance. Okay. And why was it determined? Was there a protocol that said you're supposed to look at the data that way as opposed <coughs> to looking at the p-value? Um, I think there was some, some, um, some determination beforehand that that, that, would be, that that would be done. I don't recall the, the exact nature of it. Okay. Well, but I, I think it was... I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Carry on. Did you participate in that decision? Uh, I, th I recall having some discussions about, about, about those sorts of things, yes. You had a statistically significant finding. Judged on the, on the confidence interval, that's right. Okay. Of an increase in suicide attempts in adults <coughs> treated, with M treated with Paxil who had MDD, correct? Um, there was a... The results provided evidence of an increase in suicide attempts in adults with MDD treated with proxy compared to placebo, and that analysis... Uh, based on the confidence interval was statistically significant, yes. Okay. Now, there was not a similar finding with the non-MDD <coughs> set, data set, correct? Uh, that's right, according to this, this uh, summary in this document, that's right. Okay. Uh, Mr. Davis, just a few follow-up questions. I uh, want to turn your attention to Exhibit 1, which is the GSK uh, 2006 analysis relating to suicidal behavior in the uh, MDD subpopulation, uh, which Mer Mr. Murgatroyd asked you uh, before. Um, he asked you um, a about a finding uh, from the analysis relating to the MDD subpopulation. Do you remember that? I remember he asked me some questions about yeah. it, yes. Was that a primary or a secondary analysis? I'm sorry, which, which one? The finding with uh, relating to suicidal behavior in the MDD subpopulation. Uh, the, 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 the suicidal behavior uh, was, a, was, the, was the secondary endpoint. Okay. And um, how, many, uh, how many other analyses of the Paxil Adult Clinical Trials database were done in 2006? Uh, uh, do you mean in addition to just that, that endpoint? Yeah, yeah. Oh, approximately. Um, I, I don't know. I know that the output that was generated at that time but was a, quite a hefty piece of work. It was perhaps a, maybe a hundred pages. I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. What was the primary endpoint of the 2006 analysis that was done by GSK? I think the, the primary endpoint was definitive suicidal behavior and ideation. Um, and do you know how that compared to the FDA's primary endpoint? My my recollection is that it's this. My recollection is it was the same endpoint. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think it was the same endpoint. Was there an, any increased risk of suicidal uh, thinking on or behavior in <coughs> MDD patients taking Paxil on that primary endpoint that you just mentioned? Um, I, I don't recall there being one. I'd need to check the the documents to be certain, but I don't recall that there was. Um, you remember Mr. Murray tried to ask you some questions about the 6.7 odds ratio? 
Uh, yes. Okay. Um, how many of those uh, Paxil patients were aged 30 or, or, uh, or less? Um, can I just refer back to sure. the document? Absolutely. This was the 6.7 in MDD. Yes. Which was 11, the 11 patients. Um, and I think my recollection is that, did you ask about eight, which age group did you ask about? Uh, 30 or 30 or 30 less. or below, I think that was, I think it was eight of the 11 were, were, were 30 or below. Okay. So is it fair to say that the finding of an odds ratio of 6.7 was <coughs> driven uh, largely by young adults? Uh, I think the eight of the 11 were, were in that age group, so the, the 6.7 um, will largely be driven by, by that age group, yes. 